Hey everybody, I was uh, just out here checking out a new spot for a window uh, in my greenhouse here. I had that powdery mildew come through this neighborhood. Uh, wow. And in fact, like all the surrounding trees everywhere, it's covered the maples. So uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty funky. Anyway, I got fans blowing over here and everything. And uh, I, I used the milk and uh, the skim milk and the water. <laughs> Thanks, guys. It worked freaking awesome. It was just great. It was amazing. Uh, it, it eliminated it in some cases, and then in some cases it just kind of held it in check. But wow, that was awesome. Thanks so much, guys. That's a really good one. Uh, it works great. But regardless, I think I'm going to add a little more air in here. I've got two huge windows, uh, four foot wide windows, and a huge door that's open all the time. But this one wall here doesn't have one window in it, so I'm going to pop one uh, right in, right in there, and um, just like two feet wide, and then on the top I'll, I'll, I'll put a little shelf because I'm thinking I might just pop a fan up there too. But uh, anyway, yeah, it's a little warm now. It's like near noon. It's extremely hot. You can't believe how hot it is. Anyway. So anyway, look. I'll uh, I'll finish my beer and uh, get out the power tools. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I'll cut some lumber and uh, we'll get this window in. So, that was the last of the beer. Turns out my uh, drill press is on my portable table, so... <laughs> I'm using a saw on the ground. <laughs> Probably, you know, anyway. It's all good. Okay, now I'll uh, cut another one for the top. And, uh... And we'll cut that window out. That's what I like about this polygal material, this uh, this polycarbonate. Uh, you can just cut it out with a jigsaw, and be done with it, seal the edges, and it's awesome stuff, guys. It's awesome. Second piece uh, wood isn't all uh, nice and new, and shiny. It's still awesome, but uh, I'm trying to use up some of the scraps I got left over from building this thing, and I'm uh, I'm glad I saved them. I find them useless for them all the time. So, okay, now we can go pop them in and, uh, and cut that window out. So I shut the lettuce system down <laughs> so I can stand in there. <laughs> you know, I was really planning ahead. <laughs> yeah, so uh, yeah, I forgot like putting this side in, I'd have to stand right there. So you know, I shut it down and moved it around. Another really, really <laughs> big thing for me. Uh, or an advantage for me over, you know, over growing in dirt, or at least for myself. I can just stop it and move it if I've got to get in there or whatever. But anyway, we'll get this thing in there. And uh, yeah, so I'm kind of having to work a little left-handed here. Yeah, it's kind of funky. So that's pretty much that, and I'll just uh, get this level, do the other side, and try to, you know, that's looking level. I don't know. I'd say we pop one in there, and uh, it'd be a done deal. So, can I reach? Yep. Yeah. All right. Yeah, no. <laughs> another really really awesome thing about this material like to pop a window and you don't really need a lot of structural support like for anything down on this it's just a dog on light anyway I'll get the one up above it which I'm still not exactly sure how yeah I gotta do some ladder maneuver <laughs> or something yeah well I get that one in and then we can start the cutting part that's fine probably the funnest part anyway so I got my ladder set up outside to go out there and uh, take my jigsaw, just cut right around the edge of this, 
and uh, yeah, it's that simple. And uh, and I'll just plug the tubes on the top and the bottom, and then I'll just cut a little frame for a run to sit outside there, and uh, put some silicone on her. Done deal. Piece I cut out serves as the window again. Uh, yeah, I'm just keeping this real simple. Just need a little more air in here. <laughs> Do I ever? It's ridiculous in here, guys. <laughs> okay, guys. So uh, we're outside here, up by my little, a little dirt greenhouse here behind me here. And there's where we're putting the window, <clears throat> right up in here where I've got the ladder set up. And uh, what I've done, I've taken and drilled a few holes, one in each corner for sure, and then one in the bottom, so I can get that jigsaw blade in there and, uh, you know, at least kind of get into the corners good. A uh, couple other windows I did. <laughs> yeah, they seemed a little more complicated because I should have drilled some more holes to help myself out. Okay, so I'll, I'll get up there and start cutting those guys out. And, uh... Yeah, we'll go for there. Okay, <laughs> here we are up on the ladder. I'm gonna cut some holes in here. I'm just gonna get her started. And uh, yeah, I'll let you see it coming through the other side. <laughs> Probably a lot better than watching me out here. <laughs> anyway, we'll cut some. It's like that. All right, that's the window part out of there anyway. <laughs> I'm just laughing because I got all that polycarbonate down my shirt, man. That's <laughs> super ratchet. Okay guys, anyway, that's the window getting cut out, and uh, I'll cut some of that little trim in there, bang. I'll just seal this top with uh, metal tape, rather than silk on it, and uh, done deal, I got new ventilation. Wow, I can feel the heat blasting out, it's awesome. Things going to work good? Wow, what a difference. This whole corner now just yeah, seems a lot more airy, a lot nicer. So anyway, yeah, I think this is going to work really good. And uh, now I'll just cut some trim for this guy. Pop her in and uh, maybe I'll see about building a shelf today too. Eh, maybe I'll have a beer, I don't know. But anyway, and the ventilation already is amazing in here. All right, so it's a good idea. Okay, I got her all trimmed out and, and smoothed down, which uh, you always have to do. Um, this Stuff cuts really, really nice with the jigsaw, but man, it leaves a jagged edge. So you just take a razor knife, slice her down. It's just beautiful, just beautiful. Anyway, I've uh, I've taken this tape right here. It's a it's a foil tape, and uh, what I've done is sealed the top and bottom edges of the material right there. And um, they say they recommend doing that to kind of keep dead airspace within these tubes. As an insulation barrier and I tell you what it's awesome guys instead of coming up now and I having a, <laughs> a condensation all inside my greenhouse it's all on the outside it's pretty cool so anyway got some old boards again that I cut when I was building this thing so I'll pop them in like this create just a little f a frame around it and uh, the old piece of window that I cut out there just pops right back in uh, yeah, like I say, guys, it's real simple. I just need some quick air. All right, I got all my pieces cut, and I'm just going to pop them in. I went in and drilled some uh, pilot holes, and <coughs> this stuff splits like, <laughs> like crazy if you don't watch it. So I went in on the drill press and drilled those. And I'm just going to uh, set these in like this, just with a very, very slight overhang. Very, very slight. And then, uh, then I can silicone that later. So this, okay, there we go. I need to get some, not a slide over here. They're gonna, they're gonna be a flush apparently. All right. Anyway, so that was another change in plan. I thought it would, there we go. So, get 
that on there. So this is pretty much it. I just gonna basically do this all the way around. Well, okay, I got my I got my little frame in there. So what I've done is I've uh, taken my window, or what's left, or <laughs> the piece I cut out, and uh, I take the top and the bottom with the metal tape. I put this funky little block on there with a wooden, <laughs> just a wooden block with a hole drilled in it. As uh, I said, this was going to be simple, and it is. So what happens? As this slides up into here, and I've, I've cut a little notch on the top uh, where I've run it like another little piece of trim. So this pops in. Let me show you up there. I don't know if you can see that, but anyway, she pops in there, slides in, bang, just like that. And uh, well, I was good. Oh, I've got it right here. The showstopper. The all right. <laughs> the lock. <laughs> it's just drill the hole. I drop that baby in like that. The wind keeps it. <laughs> Stays on the other side. I guess it's going to work. We'll see. But anyway, I, 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 I just said like very, very simple. The whole greenhouse is built real simple like this. Not all quite like that, but anyway, that's where I was going with this today. I'm just, it's ridiculous out here. It's, I'm dying of the heat. <laughs> I'll get rid of this window that I just cut out. But anyway, that's uh, kind of what I was doing today. Plus, I think I'll uh, take some of these tomatoes here and uh, I'll show you some over here. These guys are looking pretty good. Yeah, check these out. So that nice big fat red one, he's, he's going upstairs with me in a while. And uh, I've got some more coming Peppers. in back there. Wow. I'm, I'm really, really, really happy with them. Uh, gosh, they're just doing really well. Uh, they're on straight bloom newts, hydro, uh, general hydroponic bloom newts, standalone nutrients. So everything seems uh, really good. I got a new window today. That's completely great. And it's already a lot cooler in here. So. I gotta turn my fans back. <laughs> I had them off so it wouldn't be so noisy when I was doing this video, but holy smokes. Okay, guys, that's it for me today. See you later, everybody. Be good to each other.